Hey y'all and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be an extreme clean, declutter, and organize with me. I got a new fridge and I'm so excited to share it with you. I went grocery shopping so I'm going to share a little grocery haul and then I'm going to organize the fridge and clean out and reorganize our pantry as well. Next, I'll share our meal plan for the month of October. I went ahead and planned all our meals for October, so I'll share that with you guys in case you need some meal ideas. I'm also gonna share a yummy new recipe that I think you guys are going to love later on in the video. So I hope this video gives you some extreme cleaning motivation to tackle all of your things on your to-do list today. So make your list and let's clean along together. All right, so the delivery guys were here with our new fridge. They were taking out our old one here. And then this is what the mess looked like underneath behind the fridge. So I quickly swept it up and I also vacuumed. I did not film vacuuming because I was trying to hurry up and do this before they brought in the new fridge. But I did vacuum and give this little area a wipe down really quick before they brought in the new fridge. All right, so I have everything taken out. They just installed the fridge. I finally pulled like all the tape and everything off. The fridge that we got is a Whirlpool. I will link it below. But we are able to actually push our fridge in so much further now. Before we had to have our fridge come out to like right here on the wall just so that we could actually open our freezer door. So that is why I really, really, really wanted the French door refrigerator but I'm going to show you guys before I put everything back in my fridge I'm going to show you what it looks like all right so this is the refrigerator section you can see I can open both doors now this one you know it goes straight to the wall but it's fine because with this door being open I can actually get into everything in here now there was another glass shelf that was supposed to go right here but when they were putting pulling everything out they actually broke it so they're getting me a new one but honestly i don't even know if i was going to use it because i need somewhere to put like our milk and things like that so i'm thinking all that stuff is going to go there anyways um but this top shelf here it adjusts you can actually slide it so if you wanted to just have a shorter shelf you could put your milk and things like this over here um or you could use it like that and have a longer shelf. Then we've got this shelf, we've got a smaller little shelf right here, and then we've got three drawers. So we've got this drawer, a skinnier drawer, and then another regular size drawer right there. And then we also have a long skinny drawer right here. So that one says you can store meat and vegetables and all that in there. And then we've got our condiments um, in the door of this one. And then we've got a smaller little door side here. And then this is actually our ice maker. Let me see if I can open it with one hand. Maybe use the other one. All right. All right, so. Anyways, this is where the ice maker and all of that is. Um, we actually have dual ice makers. So this one is the one where you can use in the fridge and then the one in the freezer makes ice as well. So that is the inside of the refrigerator. You can see, and then we've got, you know, all the Things right here, we can do ice, water, all of that. Your temperature is controlled from here and everything. All right, and then down here is the freezer. So when you open it up, you've got this section down here. And then you also have this one that slides right here. So you can put more stuff right here. And then this is another ice bucket. So if you run out of ice in your top ice machine, you have this one and it also comes with a little scooper. So that is the freezer. So now I can actually start putting all the stuff back in here and organizing. But like I said, I will link this 
fridge down in the description box in case you're looking for one. I am so in love with it and I can't wait to organize it. All right, so I just got back from picking up groceries at Walmart. I did a Walmart pickup and I have them all laid out here on the countertop. So what I'm gonna do is go ahead and unpack all of these groceries, give you a quick grocery haul, and then I'm gonna start organizing in our new fridge. And I also um, want to clean out our pantry and restock and organize in there. So I am excited to get all of this stuff done. I hope you guys are excited to see the progress. All this time, I've been feeling hopeless till you came around came around all this time you're the only reason i'm not chasing highs chasing highs what is all right, I've got all my groceries laid out here on the counter and I'm gonna give you a quick little grocery haul starting from left to right. I'm just gonna share with you what we got. So I've got this protein plus spaghetti, protein plus penne pasta, and I'm actually gonna use this for the recipe that we're cooking for dinner tonight and I will film it and you'll get to see it later on in the video. So stay tuned for that. It's a macro friendly meal that is super good. Um, and then this was a random purchase. My kids have never really tried these before. And so I got several of these to just have in case that they like them and we're cooking something and then they end up trying it and not liking it. We could have something quick to make them with some veggies or something. So spaghetti o meat and meatballs. Not sure if they're gonna like them or not, but we'll try it. Some ravioli and then I don't think I meant to get two of the, I got spaghetti and meatballs. I don't think I meant to get this one, but we have those just in case the kids end up liking them. Some eggs. Um, I saw these when I was walking through Walmart too. They have the Minion candy corn. It says banana, blue raspberry, and vanilla flavored. So I'm not sure if my kids are going to like those, but I got those. Some little pumpkins. And then these Halloween circus cookies and all of these things are little items that I will add into their trail mixes that I make for them for school so these are just I'll put like a few of those in their trail mix that I make for their snack um, and then I got these Cheez-Its which I didn't realize that they were so tiny um, and they feel like they're all smushed up too so I'm not sure that this was even worth purchasing but that was another option to throw into their trail mixes that I make for school snacks We've got some Pringles. We've got, <laughs> I saw this in Walmart too, Booberry cereal. So it looks like it's like a chocolate with some bat shaped marshmallows. So I thought we would try that out. Who knows, maybe they'll like it. And then I also got some Pop-Tarts. My kids don't eat Pop-Tarts Pop very often, but I like to have these in there for, um, if we're running around and we're trying to hurry up and get out of the door in the mornings, most of the time they do not eat Pop-Tarts. Most of the time they actually eat cereal um, or eggs and bacon, something like that in the mornings, but occasionally life gets crazy and we will grab some Pop-Tarts and head out the door. Um, I also like the fact that these last a pretty good bit. And then the same with these little muffins. Gracie June would prefer to eat something like this versus the Pop-Tarts. So got those. And then cinnamon rolls for breakfast on Friday. We've got um, the Cosmic Brownies. This is my kid's favorite dessert. So we've got that. All right, moving on to some little healthier options. Um, sour cream, I got light sour cream. Then I've got this all natural turkey breakfast sausage patties. We've got Canadian bacon, some regular bacon, turkey, deli meat, um, and then I've also got, this is just some lean ground beef in here. We've got diced ham, some already cooked pulled chicken, and this is seasoned as well. This is from the deli at Walmart. These are so good. I used to eat this all the time on like the pita pizzas that I would make. It's really good. Um, and then I have not tried this before. I got the flapjack power cups by Kodiak Cakes and I got these because they were actually out of all the oatmeal that I usually get 
And these have 10 grams of protein. However, the oatmeal usually has like 14 grams of protein. So these don't have as much, but I'm interested to try it and see how it tastes. And also since they didn't have the oatmeal, I saw these and it's the instant oatmeal with extra protein. And these also have 10 grams of protein. So still not quite as much as the Kodiak Cakes oatmeal, but that'll work. Also for some more protein, I got this blended Greek yogurt. It comes with three strawberry and three mixed berry and all of them have 15 grams of protein. So those are really good for protein too. All right, and then back here, these are mama's snacks. These are mine. I usually have one of these Reese's Take Five after dinner at night. This is my little sweet treat. And I hide these from the kids so they don't get into them. All right, and then I've got some panko bread, bread crumbs. I can't talk. And this is gonna be with our recipe for tonight. Another thing for our recipe for tonight is this chicken broth. Oh, gosh. Chicken broth, low sodium chicken broth. I've got some bananas, which I don't mind getting from Walmart, but you will see that most of my haul, well, actually, this is the only fruit that I have in my haul. I don't even have any vegetables in my haul either, but that is because I like to shop at Publix for my produce. So I got the bananas, which I don't mind getting there, but I'm gonna have to go to Publix later on today and get some more fruit. And then we do have some veggies that are actually out in our deep freezer in the garage. So we have some frozen veggies out there. All right, and then we've got some Parmesan cheese, Swiss cheese, both of these are for our meal tonight. We've got some string cheese for the kids. This is a great snack for them um, and for me actually. Some, I can't believe it's not butter and some bread. So that is our entire grocery haul. And this is, a lot of this stuff will last us a few weeks, especially all the breakfast items. But um, I'm going to probably have to go back grocery shopping early next week to get some more things that we need for dinners for the evening. But, all right, I'm ready to organize the fridge now. Lately I've been wondering just what is love, what is love. All right, so the first thing that's going back into the refrigerator are all of our sauces, condiments, dressings, things like that. And I'm just gonna go ahead and do the same thing that we did in our old fridge. I have them right here in the door just because this is super easy for us to open this side of the fridge and just grab and get what we need. Now here in this big taller section, we're putting all of our drinks because this is where they will fit. And these little containers here, I did use in my old fridge. They're M Design containers that I found on Amazon. So I'll link these below, but I like these for housing the things that kind of go together that I'm gonna need to pull out frequently. So that's what's going in here. And then we have our eggs on the next shelf. And these are items that we're using in our meal for tonight. So I'm just gonna keep them out on this shelf as well. Now, one thing I realized when I was filming this video is you can fit so much more in this new fridge versus the fridge that we had before, the side-by-side. -side. And so because of that, I feel like I get a lot less groceries. And when I'm restocking all of this, I was like, man, my fridge still looks empty when I was done, but I did still need to go shopping for fruits and some fresh veggies at this point. So I guess I don't have any of that stuff to put in the fridge yet, but overall, I just feel like there's so much more room in my refrigerator. All right, and now we're moving on to the pantry. You can see it is a huge mess. Things are just kind of thrown in here. All of our baskets are, un I mean, they're somewhat organized, but everything's just kind of thrown in here so the kids can never find what they're looking for. So I'm gonna clean all of this out, declutter, get rid of things that we, you know, old bags of chips, stale chips, things like that. 
and then restock in here and reorganize. pantry is completely cleaned out. I'm going to clean up the floor down here and then I've got all of our like canned goods and stuff right here on this little rack and then I have pulled out everything in our pantry so I can just go through it really quick and reorganize and figure out what we need to get rid of and what we're going to keep. So our pantry is pretty small compared to most of the people that I see share videos on YouTube, but we've never had one bigger than this, so that's all we've ever known. But we used to have these canned goods up in our cabinets, but we could never find anything. So I love this rolling cart to just put it into our pantry and we can roll it out if we need to get to anything in the back or we can't find any of the canned goods. We can just roll this thing out and see all of the stuff that we have. But since our pantry is a little smaller, we actually use several of the cabinets in our kitchen and we keep our baking goods, spices, things like that in those cabinets. Now our family has a ton of snacks because my kids have to take a snack to school every day. They usually have some sort of snack after school before they go to sports in the afternoons. And then we also take snacks to all of our baseball tournaments and soccer games, things like that. And our kids also have friends over very frequently. And anytime they come over, they're all wanting to have snacks as well. So I love just having a ton of things in our pantry that the kids can choose from whenever they need something. Now, really quickly, I just wanted to take a minute to say thank you to all of you for being here, for watching my videos, for supporting our family, and I really hope that my videos make you feel like you are cleaning along with a friend and that you are encouraged when you watch, you feel like you can get some things done. As I tackle my to-do list, hopefully, you know, it motivates you to tackle your to-do list as well. Also, thank you for always leaving the sweetest comments. You guys are so encouraging and uplifting and you always know how to put a smile on my face and it's fun because a lot of you comment on every single video so I get to know your names and some of you have pictures so I get to see what you look like but then some of you just have, you know, it just has your name or your letter so I just kind of imagine you in my head but every time I see your name, I recognize it and I think of you as a friend so thank you guys for always sharing all your love and support here. Um, if you are new though, I would love for you to join our community, subscribe to my channel. There's a little subscribe button right next to the bottom of this video. So if you click that, then you can subscribe and then click the bell and click the word all. So that way you get notified anytime I post new videos. And then while you're here, go ahead and leave a comment below introducing yourself. So that way we can all get to know you better. But thank you again for being here. It means so much to me and my family. Yeah, 
So I actually got these little stackable organizers a while back because I thought I was going to use them somewhere else in my house, never used them. And I thought this would be a little bit easier way to organize down here. And I could put our lunch boxes here on the top. And then on the bottom, I'm putting a whole bunch of extra like um, Walmart bags, little plastic bags that we use as trash bags around the house and also in the car. And then in the middle shelf, I'm just putting all of my Verb Energy Bars. All right, the pantry is finished. Yay. Okay, so we still have all of our cereals up here. These are extra cereals. Um, and then I put those circus cookies in our little cookie container. We've got our pastas, our snacks, which are like crackers and granola bars and some Melvita bars back here. All of our breakfast items. Look how pretty that is, all nice and stocked. Our sweets, so we've got all of our brownies and a few extra little sweets back there in the back. Next row is all snacks. So we've got gummies, our beef sticks, some um, sunflower seeds, some more little snacks here, lots of popcorn, all that kind of stuff. Then coming to our next row is all of our chips. So these are the big bags of chips and then also some wheat thins. And then these are the little individual packaged chips. Then we've still got all of our canned goods right here. And then I showed you guys this earlier, but these are our new little containers that I decided to put in here instead. So that way we can keep our lunch boxes here on the top. And then I've got all of my Verb energy bars in here and then extra little baggies that I like to use for trash bags around the house and also in my car. So, yay, it's all done. All right, so now I'm gonna cook dinner. I'm actually doing a chicken cordon bleu casserole. It is so good. And I'll actually list all the ingredients you need to make this meal down in the description box, but I'm gonna leave the recipe here on the screen as I go through making it.
All right, so while that is cooking in the oven, we're gonna go ahead and tackle the mess that we made while we were cooking. So that way when we're done, all we have to do is throw our plates in the dishwasher and we can start the dishwasher before bed. And here is what the chicken cordon bleu casserole looks like when it's done. It was so delicious and we actually made this for a Wednesday night and then had leftovers on Thursday. We had so much leftovers so we ended up having leftovers the next night and then we were also able to eat it for lunch the following day. So this is a lot of food. Um, we only have four people in our family but everybody enjoyed it. So if you've been around my channel for a while, then you know I used to meal plan for the entire month. I used to be so good at this and then I got off track and now I'm ready to get back on track. So I'm gonna start planning out my meals monthly again just because this saves me so much time, especially on Sundays when I'm getting ready to do my grocery shopping. I do it online and do like a pickup or whatever. And so this definitely helps save me time um, I only have to spend one session trying to figure out what we're going to eat for dinner for the month. So this is our October meal plan. And I do plan on sharing these meal plans with you guys in the first video of every month. So be on the lookout for these. The first video of every month, you can come check out my channel and you know my meal plan is going to be here. So that way if you need ideas, you can see what we're eating for the month. So really quickly, just so you guys know, O-T-E means out to eat. So I just kind of abbreviate that. Um, I do a lot of leftovers throughout the month. I do similar things over and over, especially so like Tuesdays, we have Taco Tuesdays. Some days might be ground beef, some, might, some days might be chicken, but at least we know we're gonna be eating tacos that day and I don't have to do a whole lot of thinking. And then I try to do leftovers on Thursdays. And then on Fridays, a lot of times we will do pizza. Sometimes we will order out, sometimes we'll make our own. It just kind of depends on how our week is going and what we have planned for that Friday. Also, another um, little abbreviation that you might be curious about is the MFF. So you'll see on some of these days, I have MFF above the recipe that we're gonna be doing. And that just stands for Macro Friendly Foods. And I will leave a link in my description box to that meal plan. I basically pay a subscription so that I can get her meal plans every single month. And what she does is she does these recipes, but she makes them macro friendly. So they're a lot higher in protein, lower in fat, all that kind of stuff. So that's where I get these MFF macro friendly foods recipes from. Now, of course, if you don't have her meal plans, you don't have her recipes, then you could always Pinterest the mushroom Swiss sliders on Pinterest and then look for something similar. But this is just basically, I'm just sharing it to give you guys an idea of some of the dinners that we're planning for the month. Now, another thing is throughout the month, I'll try to film some of these videos and share them with you so that way you can have the recipes and cook them for yourselves if you want to. And then of course, if it's new recipes, I'll tell you what we think of them. So like in our um, video today, I'm actually doing a macro-friendly foods recipe. And so you'll get to see that recipe even though you know you may not have her meal plan. All right, so let's go through the meal plan really quickly. We have out to eat, 
family dinner. We're going to be eating dinner with Chance's parents this night and his sister. Then we have mushroom Swiss sliders, taco Tuesday, creamy chicken and spinach lasagna, leftovers, and then we're going out of town. So we'll be eating out to eat this entire time that we're going to be out of town. Taco Tuesday, orange chicken and rice, leftovers, pizza. We have on tournament days, I usually try to just grab something because we never know what time we're gonna be home. It's all based on how the boys do, whether we're playing in the morning or in the evening. So usually we pick up something on these days. So out to eat, out to eat. And then on this Monday, we have breakfast sliders and she actually has on her Instagram page, she has this recipe saved on her Instagram. And a lot of her recipes are actually on there. So even if you don't get her meal plans, then go check her out on Instagram. She shares tons of recipes on her Instagram page. All right, tacos, um, chicken Alfredo, leftovers, pizza. This is gonna be um, nachos. My kids absolutely love nachos. And then burgers, and we're gonna do some grilled veggies, barbecue chicken and sweet potatoes and rice. Tacos, baked spaghetti, leftovers, pizza. We have a Halloween party to go to, so we'll probably bring some sort of um, appetizer or party food or whatever. And then the last day of the month, we're gonna do shrimp tacos. So that is our meal plan for the month. All right, it is the next day, and I completely forgot about the drinks that I got, so I got a big thing of waters. I've got some Diet Dr. Peppers, some Gatorades, and then we also have some Premier Protein Shakes. And so I'm going to stock this fridge. This is all that we have in the fridge right now. We have a, some Capri Suns down there, which I tried to buy some at Walmart and they were out. So I did not get any of those, but I'm about to stock this fridge really quick. I also need to wipe down the top of our freezer right here. It's disgusting. All right, so now that the fridge is restocked, I'm gonna go ahead and clean this mess here on the freezer, and then I'm gonna be done cleaning for these two days. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's video and that it gave you tons of cleaning motivation to get some things done around your house today. And if you don't tackle everything on your to-do list, don't feel bad. I always have to take multiple days to get all my cleaning done, and that's why you see me filming over multiple days in most of my videos. But I hope you guys have an amazing week and I will see you in the next video. Bye.